hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and I'm starting this video way later than I anticipated. So it is the start of a 24-hour readathon vlog. This is the Dewey's 24-hour readathon, but I'm actually starting it way before it actually starts. I think it's a really strict readathon, but I figured I might as well just participate and just kind of make up my own time. So it is Friday, and I wanted to start this at 7 to 7 o'clock tomorrow night because I actually have some stuff to do tomorrow, to tomorrow night. I'm actually being social, which is really cool, but I ended up being social tonight, so now it's about 9.30, and I still have an ambitious TBR that I don't think I'm going to get through, but I really want to start it right now. So a lot of these books are ones that I'm already into, um, a couple of them are ones that I want to completely read from start to finish. So I'm reading All the Bright Places. I've been reading this for a really long time. This is my reread, my favorite book of all time, annotating it. I have about 100 pages left, actually a little bit less than that. There's a big thing that happens in the end and I'm just, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to experience it again. Like not in like a way that I'm like, oh, I really like that. It's just like, I think I'm emotionally prepared. So we're gonna read that. We're gonna finish her up. 100 pages, like, and then I have about halfway, halfway, half pages, half as many pages. I have half of the book of Wilder Girls to read by Rory Power. I'm about on a 180. There's about 350 pages. Not too crazy, not too wacky. I'm actually reading this book really fast. There is a book that is unbelievably ambitious, but I saw someone else read it in a 24 hour readathon and I said, wow, I can do that. Which, like, I can't, but, like, I'm gonna try. So I would like to read the entire Priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon this is over 800 pages maybe less maybe more i actually really don't know i have it split up into 100 page increments and i read about 100 pages every hour maybe a little more a little less but i think i can get through it i don't know i have two other books i think i want to read which are kind of spooky so i feel like it's almost Halloween, why not? So I want to reread The Wicked Deep by Shane Earnshaw because I really loved this and I read this uh, not last July but the July before that. So I didn't really read it at the appropriate time but I absolutely love this so I really would like to pick it up again and then I also really want to get to City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab because I this was on my October TBR and I didn't get to it yet and I'm really anticipating loving this because it's middle grade, it's about ghosts and I'm ready. So these are all the books that I want to read. 24 hours in an entire day going to start off with all the bright places because i'm ready to be emotional i have the least amount of pages only 30 pages left crying i didn't think i was going to cry but we're here so i finished the book it's almost 10 30 i'm taking out my contacts i'm sorry i didn't want to show you okay <laughs> I love this book so much. I haven't even put it into Goodreads that I finished. Flip and love this book. It does a lot for me. <laughs> I love it so much. I will always love it. I think there are just some books that are super special. You kind of have rose-tainted glasses, I guess, when you look at them because they mean so much to you specifically that you don't really consider them in a kind of analytical look. That's kind of where I'm at with this book because I, I love it. It's meant so much to me. The first book of the readathon is done. I'm ready to move on because I need to get my mind off of that. But I'm going to put on my PJs and then I'm going to start reading Wilder Girls. My eyes hurt. <laughs> sleep at 11 but it's now eight o'clock time to get reading it's about 10 o'clock and i just finished wild girls i definitely read this a lot slower just because i was tired like last night and then this morning i think i'm gonna give it 3.5 stars i think it was a really well done book i really liked how it ended a lot of people said it ended abruptly but i love ambiguous endings i really really loved this book i think the characters were super intriguing and the story as well and i can't believe it was a debut i just i don't feel a huge attachment to it it's not like one I think I'll maybe reread maybe 3.5 it's it's good like it's definitely like I highly recommend it I just like it's just like not my favorite thing of all time I feel like I get a feeling with four books and I get a feeling with five books I've been doing this thing where I record like what I want to say and then I just record it again because I'm like dumb and I can't like put my thoughts together on the first time there's a plane going by why is there always a plane going by anyways I decided I'm going to pick up the priory of the orange tree I split this up into 100 page increments so I think I might read one or two hundred pages <laughs> and then switch off into a little bit of city of ghosts and just kind of like go back and forth just as a palette cleanser and I haven't really read high fantasy in a while so I don't really want to get too bored or anything like that I'm just kind of worried if I keep reading like a giant book I might just like want to die so we'll see I think I can finish all of these books I might even finish more like I don't really know I have a couple other books that are very high priority <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, so it's about 12.30 and I have been reading some of the Priory of the Orange Tree. I'm about 100 pages in. It's definitely slow going. There are so many characters and I'm sorry, I just like don't want to hold this up. <laughs> yeah, I'm about 100 pages in. It just was really slow. I think I'm getting more into it now, like reading it faster. But, like, it, everything was, like, thrown at me at once. And there are definitely, like, 16 characters, like, main characters. And I'm like, what the frick is going on? I'm going to take a break from that. I just ate lunch. That's also why it's so late. I'm going to pick up City of Ghosts just because I know I can read this really fast. This is, like, high fantasy. <laughs> and I haven't read high fantasy in so long. Hey, guys. It's 2 o'clock. I look like a boy. Just had to do some chores for my parents and, like, mow the lawn and stuff. But I've read 50 pages of this. It's gone by so fast. So I think I'm gonna just like finish this up. I'm in a spoopy mood. But yeah, I don't know when I'll get to the priory. Probably after I finish this, I'll read some more. Hey guys, so I still have 30 pages left of City of Ghosts. It's going by so fast and I'm actually loving it. I just actually got into my one of my safety schools, my like very highest acceptance rate school. And it's rolling admission, so I submitted my application Tuesday and I got in today, so very cool uh, or it's one of my safeties so it's not exactly like my top choice obviously i'm applying to 10 schools i didn't tell you that before i was applying to six and then i was like oh shit i'm not getting into any of these <laughs> so yeah it's pretty exciting also not because they will take anyone but it's fine i am anyone my dog is barking i'm gonna finish up this book because i'm so loving it <laughs> This is the angle we're working with. <laughs> it's really dumb, I know, but like, I gotta update you on the book somehow. And I really want to put on some makeup because I kind of feel disgusting. Let's update on the book. So I finished City of Ghosts and I loved it. I really, I really did. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I was leaning towards 4, but then I just, it got so intense in the end, which was surprising and really, really pleasant surprise because I love some spooky, intense things. It's very dark. Like, obviously, it's about a girl who basically drowned and now she sees ghosts. I just got a text. So now she can see ghosts. So obviously, it's morbid and her best friend is a ghost. So it's very about, like, drowning and death and all that stuff. So I don't know, like, what the age. I'm not a parent and I just don't know anything it was super good i mean i read it and i'm 12 years old so um i don't think i am going to have time to finish priory so i might pick up something else i'm thinking maybe alex approximately because i just bought that like last week and i'm i really want to read it it's like 10 minutes later i have makeup on my feet i could read the wicked deep but i'm like it's such a bad thing about rereads because i like don't want to but i am going to be doing spoiler for my november tbr but i'm gonna be doing a month of rereads i do really want to get to that at the same time i'd like just read a spooky book so i'm like <sighs> and i just like <laughs> alex approximately has been looking at me for a week now the only person i really see is standing against the ticket booths porter roth beautiful body head full of wild curls, cocky smile, my arch nemesis. Is this enemies to lovers? Oh wait, shit, I'm sold. I'm so excited, but I'm like so hyped on it. I didn't think I could love Jen Bennett more, but she just quoted Pitch Perfect. Five stars. Hey guys, so it is the end of the vlog. I wanted to wrap up from the next day. I actually ended up not finishing Alex approximately. I have it next to me. I got to about page 200 though, so I'm really happy with my progress, especially considering this 24 hour readathon was not exactly 24 hours so i'm really really happy with all the things i was able to finish i think i was able to finish four things let me see all the bright places wilder girls city of ghosts is that three three things pretty happy with my progress then i got halfway through another and another 100 pages through another so i'm very very happy with my progress and everything that i did in this video i love 24 hour readathons i just wish i actually was less social this weekend <laughs> and this day so i didn't have to kind of shave off some hours there like comment subscribe do all the things and i will see you in my next video bye